Hold on. Okay. A good Catholic student prays. Actually, let me let's do. Uh, no uh, oh, wait, wait, there. Okay, the now. Of Start over. A good Catholic student prays daily, knows and understands our faith, demonstrates a spirit of service. Lifelong learner, thinks critically, develops skills and knowledge, and participates in the act. A good person of character accepts accountability for our actions, respects school, peers, and adults, and acts as a good star of the act. Alrighty, have a great day! Ah! If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. we got a couple birthdays to mention. Uh, happy belated birthday going out to Monroe Finley. Apologize I didn't get your birthday yesterday, but happy belated birthday. Um, also today, Leah Gallego celebrates her birthday. Happy birthday, Leah. And then tomorrow, um, Mackie celebrates his birthday. Happy early birthday, Mackie. And then the day after that on Friday, Karima celebrates her birthday uh, on this coming Friday. Happy early birthday to all of you. I uh, wanted to make sure I got all the birthdays done. So in the event that students maybe are here or not here or wanted to do their celebrating early, they could do so. And so yet again, a happy belated birthday going out to Monroe. A happy birthday for Leah today, uh, Mackie tomorrow, and then Karima on Friday. Happy birthday to all of you guys. As you see them throughout the day, please wish them Happy, happy birthday. If we could all take a moment to breathe in the Holy Spirit, put on our Christ, and let us listen to today's word. When Jesus revealed his presence to the disciples after his death and resurrection, he often greeted them with a sign of peace. He must have known that they would be afraid and confused, and he wanted them to be comforted. Today we hear about doubting Thomas, who struggled to believe the risen Jesus was real. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. But Thomas was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails on his hands, I will not believe. A week later, Jesus' disciples were again in the house. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Cardinals, one of my favorite parts of the liturgy of the Mass is the sign of peace. And I hope and pray we get to that point again where we can actually have physical contact, right? Where we can shake the hands of our congregation members, our brothers and sisters in Christ, where we can give hugs to those and, and, and not be worried about spreading anything around. And we're getting there little by little, Cardinals, but that, since I was a little kid, has always been my favorite part of the Mass, honestly, is the sign of peace. And here today, what does Jesus do? He says, peace be with you. There's something so comforting. There's something so welcoming. There's something so good about a sign of peace. Um, it's, just, it's just an opportunity for us to recognize that we're one body, one Christ. We're all human beings. We're all in this together. We're all on the same team. We're all God's creation. And to acknowledge one another. Just, just a beautiful thing, Cardinals. And so I hope and pray that you too, during that time of sign of peace, have that opportunity to recognize who we are. We're God's children. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. We're a community. We are the body of Christ. We are the church. And so, you know, think about that, Cardinals, next time that opportunity for a sign of peace takes, takes place when you put on your Christ, put on your smile, right? Your big cheeseburger smile, your cheese, cheeseburger grin is what I call it sometimes, and be able to ex exchange that gift because it really is. It's a gift to one another. Uh, small gesture, but huge impact. 
right? Next thing in Cardinals is, is the doubting Thomas. And Thomas needs to see in order for him to believe. Well, Cardinals, there are a number of people in this world today that's like, eh, I still have my doubts about Jesus. Eh, I've still got my doubts about God. Do, do they really exist? Did Jesus really exist? And in the meantime, Cardinals, you've heard me, you've heard me talk about using our spiritual eyes, right? We have our physical eyes that allow us to see what's going on around us. But we also have our spiritual eyes when opened, allow us to see Christ in people, allow us to see God at work in the lives of people, allow us to see all the little miracles that are taking place throughout the course of any given day. It's just a different set of eyes that see things, see the world differently, Cardinals. And there are people still that don't believe because they haven't seen physically. There are miracles happening all the time. There are miracles happening every day. And one of the things, Cardinals, that is beautiful to discover is whenever you can take the time to realize that you, you are a miracle. It took me a while in my young adult life to realize that I was a miracle. That God allowed me to see myself through his eyes but the reality is cardinals you are a miracle i don't know if you've discovered that yet i don't know if you realize that yet but i'm here to say and to testify that you are a miracle and every single day that i come here to saint charles catholic school and every single person i have the honor and privilege of being able to see come in contact with ex and, and interact with i'm working i'm looking at a miracle Every time I look in the mirror, I'm a miracle. You are. And the prayer is that you start to see yourself in that light. And the prayer is you start to see mankind, God, God's people in the same light. And so let us continue to pray that our spiritual eyes are open, Cardinals, to recognize the miracle that we are. And that all the people around us are living miracles. A living, walking, breathing miracle. It doesn't have to be this huge thing. It's the simple things. It's the little things that are the miracles. So thank you, Cardinals, for being a miracle in my life. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of the living miracle each and every single day. And let us continue to walk in that faith for us to be able to see ourselves as miracles and recognize and see the miracle that is God's people. Amen. Thank you so much for your time, Cardinals. I hope and pray you have a blessed evening. God bless.